Did you know that the most powerful tool in VS Code is something you're probably not using to its fullest? Stick around and let's change that today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. Today, we're diving into the heart of VS Code, the command palette. This feature may just be the key to unlocking your coding potential. So let's get started. So first, how do you access the command palette? If you're on a Mac, it's Command Shift P. And if you're on Windows, it's Control Shift P. Alternatively, you can go to View in the menu bar and choose Command Palette. When the Command Palette opens, just start typing the name of the command that you're looking for. The list will automatically filter to show the relevant commands that you're looking for. You can use the up and down arrows to move your selection. If you've recently used a command from the Command Palette, you'll see that listed at the top and you'll see Recently Used beside it. Another thing you'll notice is you'll see the keyboard shortcut beside each command that has a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. This is a great way to learn keyboard shortcuts in VS Code. Now let's go over the essential commands that every developer should know. First up, file management. So if we type in file, we see that there are many commands that have to do with files in VS Code. For example, we can open a file, open recent files, save files, reveal in Finder, there's just a lot of things here that are very useful. Up next is editing shortcuts. One thing to note is you must have a file open in the editor to see these commands in the command palette. So first we have format. Here we can choose format document, format selection, and so forth. And what this does is format the document. We also have refactor, which gives us the refactor options built into VS Code. Now let's take a look at customizing your command palette. Adding commands to the command palette involves installing extensions or activating built-in features. So for example, let's go install an extension called Prettier. We click install. And now if we switch back over to the code and open up the command palette, we can search for Prettier. And here we can see that we now have a Prettier command in the command palette that wasn't there before. Another popular one is called Get Lens. So I've installed that here. And if I open up the command palette, I can search for Git Lens and see that I've got a lot more options that the extension Git Lens has added to the command palette. And last, let's talk about advanced search techniques. VS Code's command palette includes a fuzzy search capability. This means that it has approximate matching, which allows you to have minor typos or word order variations. So for example, if I type in OPT, I can see that I get open web developer tools and it matches OP from open and the T from tools. I can also search for tools open and still get open developer tools. I also see that I get toggle developer tools, which omits the word open from that search result. This feature reduces the need for precise command memory, meaning if you can't remember exactly what that command was in VS Code, it's easier to find it. If you found this deep dive into the command palette helpful, you're definitely going to want to check out my video on the best VS Code extensions. It's a goldmine for boosting your productivity in VS Code. But before you go, here's something you shouldn't miss. I've just launched a weekly newsletter that's packed with the same insights and tips that you find on this channel. It's all about giving you that extra edge in your developer journey. And the best part, it's completely free. I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can go check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.